just want to show you this trailer before we head out on the water. Really, in pretty decent shape. All right, this is the uh, port engine. Okay, John, go ahead and crank the uh, starboard engine. I mean, the uh, yeah, the starboard engine, the right one. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. They've been checking for a while, so we're gonna have to take them out and run and see what they'll do. Okay, it's just as easy as taking your uh, DES and plugging it in. Master switch is on, chirps twice, board engine, you're running. Starboard engine. Just that easy. This tachometer on this side is not operating. Could be a fuse, could be uh, one of several things. These boats will spin around on a dial. Never get a stern drive boat to do this. Never.
Steve Tillman, 1-866-935-0272 or 904-509-4336. You want yourself a nice project boat, this will make you a good one. If you want something that's cheap, that uh, doesn't need any work, don't buy it. Don't buy it. This boat runs good, hauls in good shape. It's got a few scratches in the red on the gel coat. It needs a stereo. If it was mine, I'd put a bimini top on it. The tachometer on the uh, port side does not work. Could be something just loose. Could be a fuse. I don't know. Um, but the boat is cheap. You know, these boats not running bring 10 grand all the time for people to rebuild them. I see it every day. I go to the auction every month. So anyway, twin engine, 2004. She's got 155, 56, 57, 58 hours on her. We've been out here for an hour running it. You've seen the video. Trailer's in good shape. It's just a cheap boat. It's a nice project boat. Okay. And as always, from the banks of the beautiful Pottsburg Creek, outside the big city of Jacksonville, Florida, make it a safe day on the river for you and your family. Take care. Alright, so the way to flush it out, engine's off, take your hose, spin it backwards, counterclockwise. Okay, what I do is I just slide them right up to that little inlet and I just kind of let them pull themselves in there. And let me tell you something, if it does not go in there easy, then you screw it up. Start over again, back out. You do not want to cross thread your hose going in there. Okay, uh, the water is not on now and the engine's not running. Uh, you don't want to hydrolock your engine. How would you hydrolock it? By turning on the water before you turn on the engine. Never, 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 never turn on your water before your engine is running or you'll fill that motor up with water. Are you listening? Okay, you with me? Okay. Make sure it's in neutral. Got to put it in neutral.